In part six of this lecture, we will discuss the programming languages that first appeared from 1990 to the present. The 1990s were dominated by a few factors, and possibly the most significant of these factors was the growth of the Internet. When Bill Clinton became president, he pushed for the National Information Superhighway Infrastructure Act, which led to the commercial growth of the Internet. One of the software projects that grew out of this was the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web was a service developed by Tim Berners-Lee, a British physicist at the European Consortium Lab, CERN, who wanted to share data with colleagues elsewhere, and using hypertext links, a concept that was already around for about 20 years was key to this. Programming the web led to two problems. If you wanted software passed through the web to be universal, you needed to be willing to share source code and have it interpreted locally. But not everyone wanted to share their source code. You could just pass executable code, but that required knowing the platform on which you were working, and not everyone had the same processor and operating system. That's where Java came to the rescue. Java is an object-oriented language that is sort of like C++, but with the unnecessary stuff taken out, to quote Java guru Elliot Harold. But most importantly, it was translated into an intermediate language called bytecode, which was essentially the machine language for a machine that only existed as a software emulation. This emulation, the Java Virtual Machine, became part of web browsers. Java gave way to several scripting languages, and there were other scripting languages developed in the 1990s, including JavaScript. But the other legacy of Java was its collection of libraries that allowed Java programmers to do an enormous variety of sophisticated tasks. Haskell, a purely functional language like ML, matured, leading to the Haskell 98 standard. Ada matured, leading to the Ada 1995 standard. James Gosling, Mike Sheridan, and Patrick Naughton developed Java originally to provide an alternative to C++, whose libraries greatly frustrated Naughton. One of its first planned applications was for interactive television, but the cable TV industry wasn't interested at the time. It was specifically designed to be simple, object-oriented, robust, secure, platform neutral, among other goals. They removed many features appearing in C and C++ that they felt got in the way of these goals. The largest part of Java's appeal is not just its portability and use as a web-based language, but also its large library that provides relatively easy windowing capability, networking, concurrency programming, as well as database capabilities. Unlike other popular programming languages, Java remains proprietary, with its intellectual property rights now belonging to Oracle, which bought out Sun Microsystems in 2010. C++ inherited many things from C, including its loose typing, which makes it more difficult to create secure applications than it is in a language that has strong typing, where data items are not allowed to be used in ways that are contrary to their type. Java is considered a type-safe language, meaning that such uses are forbidden. Java supports concurrency, allowing the programmer to coordinate the execution of more than one thread at a time. Java's libraries allow programmers to use it to create applets running within your browser, graphical user interfaces, database applications, and more. The Java Virtual Machine is a software emulation of a computer that doesn't really exist in hardware, and it runs within your browser, allowing Java programs to run on a wide variety of processors running many different operating systems. This has also made it popular for web programming, although there are many other languages that are now also used for that purpose. Java has grown in popularity more quickly than just about any other language, its most recent release is version 7, which was released in 2011, with its most recent update, Update 51, coming out in January 2014. When Fortran first came out, the libraries for it were mainly for doing certain types of calculations, 
such as absolute value or square root. There were other libraries that came out over time, but they were an afterthought. Bacchus and his team were not thinking about them when they were designing the language and developing its compilers, but that's no longer the case. Java's APIs were part of the design criteria of Java from the very beginning and are a major factor in the language's development and a major factor in its popularity. The same is true of C++'s standard template library. Scripting libraries are little languages that are designed for writing small, special purpose programs called scripts. The concept has been around for quite some time. Awk, a small language designed for text processing, is just one example of a scripting language. They have the advantage of having utilities and library components designed especially for the tasks they are intended for, and many also include operating system commands to facilitate their tasks. Modern scripting languages include Perl, TCL, JavaScript, Rex, and Python. 